whatever you build up here is gonna be the game you'll keep refining as a brown belt or a black belt. Hello folks, welcome to my channel. My name is Kazuki Memura. I'm a BJJ black belt training in Tokyo in Japan. I've been training, competing and teaching BJJ in multiple countries for many years. So I'll be sharing a lot of useful information on this YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe this YouTube channel so that you won't miss anything. Today is also the belt color series. Although this channel is mainly for practitioners 40 plus. For the videos about belt color series, I'll talk about them for any adult or master practitioners at any age. Today's video is about what it means to be a purple belt. Before we get too deep in it, let me emphasize this. The standard criteria or levels for belt colors are totally different from professor to professor and academy to academy. So what I'm going to talk about here is just what I think is a general guideline for purple belts from my experience of having trained and taught BJJ for many years. Before sharing my idea, let me share what the website of the biggest BJJ organization, IBJJF, International Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Federation, says about BJJ purple belts. For you to get a purple belt, you have to be 16 years old or over. If you are 18 years old or over, you have to be a blue belt at least for two years to get a purple belt. Also, you have to be a purple belt for at least a year and a half to get a brown belt. Again, this is just a guideline you have to follow if you want to compete in IBJJF tournaments so I've seen a lot of professors promoting a purple belt to a student who hadn't trained for a year and a half as a blue belt. Also the website of IBJJF doesn't really provide a lot of information on what skill is needed to be a purple belt as far as I find so if you know they provide those information please comment below. So here let me share my opinion on what it means to be a purple belt. When I say what it means to be a purple belt I think that can mean two things. One, how your skill set is at the point you get a purple belt. Two, how your skills will improve throughout your purple belt journey. But I'll skip the first one in this video because in the previous video, what it means to be a blue belt, I talked about what you learn throughout your blue belt journey and how your skill set is when you get a purple belt. So if you want to know about it, check out the video. I'll put the link below in the description. But long story short, at the point you get the purple belt, you have already found whatever techniques or whatever positions you are good at or will be good at, which will be the base of your A game that you will build up when you get a purple belt. And then now let's talk about when you get a purple belt, how your skill is going to change. The first thing you will experience is to start developing your game. Like I said in the previous video, when you were a blue belt, you find techniques or positions you are good at or will be good at, but purple belt is the time for you to combine, actually combine those techniques and positions together and make it a sequence which will be your A game. So let me give you an example. Let's say you have found three things you are good at as a blue belt. Spider guard, leg lasso guard, and triangle. Then when you get a purple belt, you will combine them together and your game will look like this. You have a lasso guard first, but if they move around to deal with your lasso guard, you will instantly switch to spider guard. And if they drop their head down, you will go for a triangle. But if you fail to finish a triangle, you can go back to spider guard. And then if they try to deal with spider guard, you can get a lasso guard. You know, things like this. It's combination, right? Throughout building your A game, you might find some other techniques you are good at too. Then you can always add those techniques on your A game. At this point, your A game might not be as tight or effective as brown belts or black belts, but whatever you build up here is gonna be the game you'll keep refining as a brown belt or a black belt. So in another way of saying it, the A game you build up here at this stage is not gonna be much different from what you do as a brown belt or a black belt. Although you might add some leg attack game on the top of it. The second change you'll see is you'll start filling up your holes in your game. What I mean by that is this is not really about your A game. Right? It's about your whole game. Let's say you take so much time building up your spider grip game, which is your A game, then you have no problem going against someone at the same level or lower level because your spider guard is so strong. But let's say when someone takes a back position on you, you realize, hmm, I'm not really sure what to do, how to escape from here. Or when someone gets a close guard on you, you might find it really hard to open it. 
Of course, by the time you get a purple belt, you should be able to do most of the fundamental moves or techniques, but still you'll probably find some holes in your game at this point. So purple belt is not only for building up your A game, but also filling up the gap or the holes in your entire overall game too. That's why if you ask a question about any positions or any techniques to brown belt or black belt, they usually have the answer for it. As you go towards the end of your purple belt journey, you will start doing well on most of the purple belts or some brown belts too. Then you are ready to get a brown belt. But it's still all your professor's decision whether they promote you to a brand belt or not. So if you don't get promoted as fast as you think you should, don't get frustrated. Purely focus on your technique improvement. So in the next video, I'll be talking about what it means to be a brand belt. Besides that, I'll be posting a lot of useful information on this channel. They tend to be mainly for practitioners 40 plus, but I'll post a lot of useful information for any practitioners at any age. So make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you won't miss anything. Also, if you are a practitioner 40 plus, please join our Facebook group where any practitioners 40 plus can come together and help each other. I put the link below in the description, so check it out. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Today is the youngest you'll ever be. Awesome.